Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis. So today I'm going to be installing the Ryzen 7 3800X CPU into the Aorus X570 Ultra motherboard. I'm going to do the installation. We'll have a quick look at what's inside the box. Uh, it does come with a Wraith Prism cooler. I would have got the 3700X because I think it was a little bit better value and you get to almost the same clock speeds as this. But I couldn't find it. I got this one. I think it'll work out just fine. So let's get it out of the box. Let's install it. Show you what it can do. Okay, so let's quickly get it out of the box. See what we got in here. Now, they always tuck the uh, CPU itself in the side. All right, it just comes in a box like that. And there you can see what it is. All right, so I'll set that down here. So of course right here comes in this little box. We're going to open it up. Now, I tend to just, because I know what this is like, I'm just going to flip it. Take the box off. Now, it comes pre-applied with thermal paste, so you don't need your own. But if you want to choose to use your own, well, you're certainly free to do that. It comes with the RGB cable and USB. I found previous experience when I did the R72700X, you do not need the RGB, but you do need the USB. And then that'll run everything independently using the AMD Wraith um, software, which I'll show you later on. So let's have a quick look. Okay, let's get the plastic off here. Here's a look at the cooler itself. And the thing that causes some grief is making sure this handle here Okay, it can be up here and it can get snagged when you go to put it on. All right, just move that cable out of the way. And so you want to make sure that you just go up here, make sure it goes all the way down. Because if you don't get it all the way down, then what's going to happen is it's not going to clip on in the bottom. All right, so that's going to go on there and you can see your heat pipes. Okay. And so the first thing I'm going to do is take off all my cables get them all out of here and then we'll go and proceed with the install so of course the other thing you got is your four pin for your cpu fan plug into your cpu uh, on your motherboard okay and of course like i said you got your two cables so this is pretty much everything you get of course the beauty of that being the most important part all right there we go there's a look at the beast we got a little motherboard over here shouldn't call it little it's pretty impressive actually if you want to see the review on that you can look back uh, to one of my previous videos a couple of them back and uh, i did a review on that so let's go ahead and install this so one more thing before we go and install it is one of the factors that i want to point out on this cpu is the fact that it's a third gen processor and it's PCIe 4.0 ready. All right. So, of course, that's why I'm pairing it up with a motherboard newly come out as well for the third gen processors that has the PCIe 4.0 lanes on it. All right. Important distinction between some of the earlier runs, uh, like your B450s, which are still going to have your uh, PCIe 3.0. Okay. So, the first thing you want to identify is your little triangle. Okay. It's very small. But it's right in, the, in that corner there okay so be careful when you take this out don't grab it don't touch it on here um, but then you want to focus on here and you can see the triangle right there okay and you want to make sure that when you put your cpu in here that you line up the triangle on the cpu itself with the socket which is an am4 socket okay so first step i would recommend push that out Lift up your arm. Now it's ready to put the CPU inside. Okay, next step. Make sure you just gently do this. Grab it by the edges. Okay, you don't want to actually touch anything other than the edges of the CPU. Okay, so we know our triangle's here. We know our triangle's there. And you're just going to set it in place. Okay, so it just goes in there. Sometimes you have to just be wiggling around a little bit. Just make sure it goes in there. Once it's in here, just push this handle back down. A little bit of force, don't worry. 
and make sure you go be below this little tab here All right and that's it your CPU is installed now of course comes the cooler now the thing with the cooler just to keep in mind these two brackets have these two little nubs one on this side one on this side one points this way the other one points that way okay when you put your CPU on okay make sure you're lining it up okay so make sure you try and get that little lip in there okay once you bring that across okay so I paused it for a second just because it was a little bit tricky so I just move this my problem again was making sure this was all the way down it was up just a little bit and then it clicks in place then once you're sure you got the other one on place which it is you got this handle okay going this way doesn't do anything okay so when you first put the clip on this is going to go down it's going to be facing this way so what i found is i had to kind of put a little bit of pressure on here push it down a bit and it is pretty snug it's going to take a bit of pressure flip it over don't be afraid it's not going to break anything break make sure that it's on this side with these little lines see how these lines are on so if it's on the right hand side it's in there it's secured you don't have to worry about it okay if it's on this side it'll still move around everything is going to be good on the board but it's not properly secured okay you need to have it facing this direction all right hope that helps somebody so the only thing left now of course connect this to your cpu fan so on our motherboard you got cpu fan cpu optional okay so we're just going to take it make sure that little divot here lines up with this Okay, so you want to have it on like so. Okay, line it up here. So this is four pin, this is four pin. Line it up with that little divot. Okay, and just push down. That's it. That's all there is to it. That's going to nicely tuck out of the way. And we'll tie that up after when I actually go to do a build. And that's on. So the only thing left at this point, of course, is firing up the motherboard, see what it looks like. That kind of good stuff. Um, but there's one more important factor. So I oriented this because you have a low and a high for your fan. So if you put it at high, it's going to be a little bit noisier, but higher performance. Put it at low, quieter fan, maybe not as good at cooling. So flick that over to high. Now you've got two little tabs here. So the way you can tell if you've gone the right spot there's two little lines here and just line it up with the h or line it up with the l whatever your preference is and you're good to go you got two little tabs here okay so you can just take those off okay one of course is for your cpu uh, for your rgb and the other one is for the usb so you can leave one of them in you can take them out i tend to just take both of them out and leave it at that take your cable that you got Take your little small one, okay, the small one here. It's only a three pin, so that's how you know. There's only a three pin there. Line them up. We'll only go in one way. Push it in, and then this is going to connect to your USB on your motherboard, and you're ready to uh, test everything out. Okay, so once you've got your cable in here, you've got your USB. Find a USB slot on our motherboard. It's right here. USB 1, USB 2, okay, so make sure you line it up, there's one little spot on here that does not have, like it's it's full, you can't push anything into it, so you're going to line it up with the one that has an empty spot on here, doesn't matter which one you use, okay, line it up, push it down, and that's all there is to it, so we'll power this on, we'll have a look at it, of course it's not in the case yet, because that's coming in our next build, and uh, we'll have a look. You do not need to use the RGB. Um, people have used it, and it, obviously it's there to be used. But if you plug it in, I found that uh, you can't independently control systems differently. Like, I want to have the RGB independent of the fan. Because on your CPU cooler, I'm going to show you something here. Okay, so on your CPU fan itself, okay, this AMD lights up. The ring around here lights up and your fan lights up you can determine a different color for each of those three things and have that independent of what your motherboard is going to be as well 
So that's why I like to do that separately. And of course you have to download the software. I'll show you that. And uh, we'll test it up and see what the colors and everything look like. Okay, but before we do that, we have to go in and type in the AMD. I just typed in AMD Prison Software. It came up and brought me to this page. So we just have to download that software because it's going to allow us to independently control everything with the software. Okay, so you can see you've got your different colors. Okay, so your AMD is lit up. Uh, it's blue. I don't know if the camera is picking that up right now. You got your rainbow color. Now the standard color when it comes on before you've made any adjustments with software and all that is the rainbow color. And then it will start cycling through. So the fan itself will cycle through its different colors. Same as like the outside ring and this will continue to change too. That's why you need the software so you can make the changes and make it look better and all that kind of good stuff. So something else to notice is it is on high performance so it is a little bit louder. Um, so if you don't like that, if you find that too loud, then put it on low and you should be good. And you can also adjust fan speed and all that kind of good stuff for your BIOS and your settings for your software that come with your motherboard, all that kind of good stuff. All right, everybody. So putting it on was pretty simple. It was pretty straightforward. Uh, so if you like that video, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, think about subscribing. And hit that bell for future notifications. Thanks for watching.